Welcome to Let's Talk Tech Online News with Alan Billings. Today we're talking about just just.com. Now let's head over there and see what it's all about. Just.com is basically TweetDeck, except it's an online. Yeah, it's online. It's a basic website, and you connect all your things to it. Right now, currently, you can only really connect your Twitter and Facebook, and there are a few th a few other things you connect to it. You can also add an RSS feed, and you can add other news uh, things like that. So this is basically a all-in-one. This is basically an all-in-one RSS feed reader. So instead of using Google Reader for uh, everything and getting all the RSS feeds, you basically add all the RSS feeds into this. It's a new RSS feed reader, basically. That's all it is. And this is what they call or consider the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is where all of you get read all your information. So you have all your friends right here. This is all my Twitter friends, mostly. Because they're all Microsoft Store, all that. That's all Twitter. Now, right now, I don't see any Facebook in here right now. I don't know why that is, but there is no Facebook in this list right now. And if we go, uh, if we head on over, actually, just to do uh, quick things: recent news, contacts, contact address in this week. So this is all uh, just ways to sort your information. Better you could say last 24 hours, 48 hours, seven days, 30 days. It's all filtered, so it's really, it's actually a really good uh, RSS feed reader. Go on over to people. It will load all your people. So these are all my friends that are not really, some of them are my friends, some of them are not my friends. But uh, the importance is, is that you can set importance for all of your friends. So now this is similar to uh, what Facebook and some other places do, and they say, "Hey, are they important? Are they not important?" Uh, pa uh, Pandora Radio does this. Is the music important? Is it not important? So how important are they? Are they important to you at all? Okay, well obviously I'm pretty important to myself, so I gave myself 100% importance because I want to read everything about me, everything that I write, I want to read. And uh, who else have I got on here? I got Riyadh. Riyadh's on here. I got East Coast Productions. Uh, go ahead, check him out on YouTube. East Coast Productions got a new uh, video up there. And uh, I guess I set him to pretty important because I want to keep up with him as well. Now you can also sort your contacts by easily searching them, filter the people by easily putting in their name, or you can easily search uh, all except deleted. You can also do importance based on how important they are. So if you want to look at all the people that are tens, which I think is all the way in the bottom of the list. Yeah, it's all the way in the bottom. I don't even feel like going that far. If you want to look at all the people that are in the hundreds, let's say we want to go for the hundreds. Let's say enter. It should bring up a list of, yes, all the people that are in my top hundred. So let's go to the normal. And that will show me, it should show me everyone. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. There it is, okay. Show me everyone. So, importance is, okay, how many sources they have. Alan Billings, I have five sources. Means that I am found everywhere. Basically what just does is it goes and it searches the internet for your friends. If you have your friends on there, it goes and searches for them for their Twitter page, for their everything. Move over a little bit. We got their contacts, the ways to contact them. And it tells you the last message sent. So last time you contacted that person, how many were sent, and whatever this rec D is. I don't know what that is, but it must be important. And then there's the recent, which is probably the last time you've made some sort of contact with them or if they've made a post. So you can again, you can also sort by recent or you can sort by last contacted. Now, the uh, disappointing feature that is on here, if I go back to the dashboard, 
is like tweet uh, tweet that can actually let you post things where this can't this is all this is is basically an RSS feed reader that's all it is just read your news to you that's all it is and you cannot post anything so you cannot say oh I want to post this to Facebook post this to Twitter you can't do that it's just a reader that's all it is so I, I don't see it hitting off exactly that great but I mean it is good for anyone who's trying to keep up with a lot of people and a lot of information so tweet that can only do certain things where this can do also other RSS feeds this is the companies tab companies tab this are these are companies that everyone in your friends list works for so uh, let's go with advanced turbine services uh, my dad works for advanced turbine services and so I could say okay well I want to see more information about advanced turbine services you click on the location and bam there it is advanced turbine services services LLC so and then you can visit the website at AUX the uh, whatever power uh, pwr.com and then there's the phone number and everything so and you can see who works there you know you can see images and you can confirm information most likely it's going to actually if I move over here and do that okay now what it's going to do is it's asking you to confirm information about the phone number I've already confirmed some information already but it's going to ask you to confirm some information because since this is new, and I, if I have not said this in the past, it's this is in beta mode right now. So it doesn't know. It's not sure. It's just gathering a list of sources. So it's not sure. So it wants you to confirm. Make sure this is the telephone number. This will tell you all your friends that are actually working in this area. So Facebook, this is more of a gathering type thing where it will tell you where everyone is. Facebook will tell you where people work. But I don't think it will tell you if everyone who everyone that works in that area. Going back to the dashboard and wait for it to load. Now back to the importance thing. Now I was showed you a little bit about filtering. Now the filtering is actually rather important when it comes to this because you know Facebook you can't really filter. You have your filter on okay friends, this friend, that friend and you have okay some recents but this I think is a lot better at filtering and you can and again there's this people and companies so let's say I want to actually I want to show I don't want to show information about companies I click on it and it hides all information about companies didn't do a very good job with that but um, because these people may have uh, company accounts and personal accounts but whatever but uh, yeah it, this is supposed to uh, limit it, but it doesn't do that. Anyway, let's see what happens if I uh, limit it to people. If I get out, get rid of people here, then it gives me companies. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's gonna give me companies. Uh, Southern Connecticut State University. Why they are on my friends list? I have no idea. Shoprite, Southern. Yeah, Calvin Klein. Okay. Why? I, yeah, I have no idea why some of this stuff's on my friends list, but whatever. Um, but yeah, no, you can filter it that way. You can do it seven days, and you can do uh, if you if you have RSS feeds in here, other than Facebook and Twitter, then you could say hide RSS feeds. But I think this is a much better uh, link. It's much better filtering than Google Reader has or TweetDeck. Either way, TweetDeck's not that great at filtering. I don't believe. Another amazing application that. Guest.com offers is the upcoming events and the ability to see all of your upcoming events and what time they're coming up. So your entire calendar basically. You can upload your calendar using Google Calendar or you can use an iCal. You can use an iCal uh, format and just upload that. Now this is useful because again like I've said in the past, GIST.com is trying to be an RSS feed. It's trying to feed you everything. Now, again, this is only in beta, but it's trying to feed you all your news. Not just your... just Not, not just your feeds, not just your news. It's trying to give you news, updates, calendar, and pro eventually it's going to give you even more in the future. So, 
hopefully I would like to see a lot of updates in the future from GIST.com. So right now I'm in the people's information, but I'm under my custom profile. And uh, GIST.com has found all of my accounts, most of them. I have a lot of accounts. So it's a, and it, you taking all this from consideration of all my other Twitter accounts that I've taken into, as well as some of my other RSS feeds that are on Google, as well as my blogs. So it says, do you want to take in information from Alan Billings? which is another one of my Twitters, which I don't use. I will confirm. Do you want to take in information about the new uh, new buy boy one? That's not my account. So I'm going to say no. And do you want to take in information from Pissed Off Gamer? I'll take in that. It's one of my older names. From Death by Boss, this is for friends. I will confirm. And I get to go on forever. I mean, I have a lot of accounts and I have a lot of blogs. Just go, and I could do uh, some of my Pascal, uh, Picasa, Flickr, YouTube. Now, again, all these are RSS feeds, so all you have to do is say confirm. I will also confirm my Tungle account, and there they are, and they will show up on. Let's see if they do show up. Yes, there they are. Facebook and Twitter for just about everything. Now, what I would like to see in the future is this Twitter come to custom because again I've added a couple of Twitter accounts and be able to customize this and say I only want to I don't want to show the accounts the Twitter accounts for Death by Bots or I only want to show the Twitter account for Alan Billings so that would be nice and if I add a couple of Facebook things in here which probably won't happen but or if I add a couple of RSS feeds and say only show me certain RSS feeds instead of just this I can do that easily with the filter button going into the uh, friends and filter and see what's up happening with that but I cannot do that using this right here and just say what's new I would like to be able to go right here and just say go right click or even just chop that down and just say okay I only want to see this I want to have to I don't have to go into the new settings to do all that fancy stuff but I hope to see a lot of progress in just.com when it comes out in regular mode and the regular mode uh, but I highly suggest you go ahead, uh, go to gist.com, sign up for an account, and add your other accounts as well, just so you can keep up with your latest information, and check back regularly for updates. If you like what you saw today, go ahead, go in the comment section below, and go ahead and comment, or give us a thumbs up. If you have any other comments uh, to share with us, any th news, tech news, anything like that you want to talk about on the show, let's talk tech one at gmail.com. You can also visit us on our website at letstalktechshow.com where all of our links are there for our blogger, YouTube, Facebook, and our new Google Plus page. And I am Alan Billings, host of Let's Talk Tech Show News Online.